So here comes our first example where we're going to use the zero product property. So remember what the zero product property says, if you have a, b equaling zero, then either a equals zero or b equals zero. So a lot of times we're going to get two solutions. All right, now you'll notice that we have multiplication here. We have a binomial times a binomial and it equals zero. So you can think of this as like the A and this is like the B. So since when we're multiplying them and it equals zero, then one of two things happens. Either this one, three minus two equals zero, or this one, two plus two M plus one equals zero. So you're taking each factor and setting it equal to zero. Now, and that gives us two, I call them little baby equations. So they're, they're really just linear equations. But we know how to solve a linear equation. Add 2 to both sides. 3m equals 2. Divide by 3. Give me a little more room. And so m could be 2 thirds. So that's one solution. And then over here, subtract 1 from both sides. Divide both sides by 2. And so m equals negative 1 half. Now, a lot of textbooks, they'll want you to write it. You have two answers. One answer is 2 thirds, and the other answer is negative 1 half. A lot of times, they'll want you to write it in set notation. So you write it this way. In WebAssign, they probably just want you to put the answers in. They'll have the notation for you, probably. Now, we don't always get two answers, but in this case, we got two answers. So. so we solved it. If you were to plug into the equation, the original equation, one of those two answers, it would make the statement true.